I understand that, you know. I understand that, that I'm not ever gonna make everyone happy. I can only come tell my truth and, and that's all I know to do. American country music singer and songwriter Morgan Wallen gained his initial reputation while competing in the sixth season of the reality series The Voice. And while he didn't ultimately win the thing, he still wound up earning himself a pretty nice record deal in 2015. Three years later, he'd be releasing his successful debut album entitled If I Know Me and his second album, Dangerous the Double Album, would cement his position as one of the genre's most promising new stars. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Looking to celebrate his achievements over the past few years, Morgan would take his estimated $4 million net worth and use a big chunk of it to bulk up his real estate portfolio, the purchase of his very first home in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, when Wallen first moved to Tennessee, he lived in a Mount Juliet area apartment alongside his guitar player. But after a few years of that very bro-centric living arrangement, Wallen recognized that it was high time that he moved on to larger pastures. That's when he started looking for a place of his own, something he'd quickly find in this 2,720 square foot duplex that was originally built in 2015 and which he secured for himself for only $700,000 in April 2020. When it comes to the property's exterior, everything looks modern and sleek at Morgan's place. His unit not only boasts a combo of dark gray and white as a color scheme on the siding, but also a classic looking wood fence for privacy. Meanwhile, the front door can be accessed access via an elegant white staircase with railings on either side. There's even a garage built into the base of the home with enough room for two cars, while foliage lines the driveway leading up to the entryway. Moving to the interior of the home, the first thing you'll probably notice is how empty the house is. You'll find out the reasons why in a few more moments, but for now, just use your imagination when it comes to envisioning how Morgan must have decorated the space. Because even without any furniture to speak of, you can tell that this place is special. Not only is it largely open concept, but it boasts an oversized living room with a modern looking fireplace beside recessed shelves. A few feet away from there is the kitchen that offers an island with a built-in sink and eat-in option that functions as the centerpiece, not to mention a stylish 36-inch Berta Tozzi range. There's even a three-door French fridge that's been surrounded on all sides by some sleek gray cabinets. Elsewhere in the property are four bedrooms and three full baths. Speaking of which, one of the most notable parts of this duplex is the built-in reclining chase that's been constructed in the ensuite shower and made completely out of tile. Meanwhile, the nearby master suite not only offers its occupants some fantastic views in a massive walk-in closet, but dark gray floors, off-white walls, as well as a chandelier and wall-mounted lights that add a touch of elegance and drama to the space. Plus, those massive French windows make the whole room look more airy and even larger. But if you want to see the real selling point this home has to offer, then check out this unbelievable rooftop deck that not only offers some breathtaking views of the surrounding neighborhood, but also a built-in wine bar that Morgan personally had installed up here. Unfortunately, rather than getting a little tipsy in the privacy of his own home or his spacious backyard, Morgan made the mistake of getting loaded and then getting himself inside some neighborhood controversy. What exactly happened that would result in Morgan having to give up this amazing home? Well, that's what we're gonna look into next. One late night in February 2021, Morgan Wallen returned home from a three-day bender with friends and proceeded to become just about the rowdiest neighbor you could possibly imagine when he and his buddies started honking car horns and yelling at one another loud enough to draw out the locals, one of whom proceeded to record the singer's antics. That's when Morgan was caught on camera using some very colorful and very inappropriate language, as well as a lot of swearing. But he didn't stop there. He wrapped things up by referring to his friend with the N-word something the nearby neighbor also caught on tape. Once the footage began circulating the next day, Morgan quickly realized the mistake he had made and sent a message to TMZ telling them, I'm embarrassed and sorry I used an unacceptable and inappropriate racial slur that I wish I could take back. 
There are no excuses to use this type of language ever. I want to sincerely apologize for using the word. I promise to do better. Unfortunately for him, by this point, his neighbors were already tired of his behavior. Apparently the scene Morgan put on that night in February wasn't a one-off kind of thing. It was more like his regular routine, arriving home late at night, drunk, and making a whole lot of noise. Since that event took place, Morgan would spend very little time at this Nashville home. For starters, he spent the next 30 or so days in rehab, and then once he got out, he decided to move on from his relatively new home, placing it on the market a couple of months later. The country star wound up selling his home in July 2021 for $835,000. After this controversy though, Morgan was dropped by every major country radio station in America, not to mention his own talent agency. So Morgan did what he could to undertake some damage control, appearing on Good Morning America to apologize once more for what had happened. While going through all this contrition to make up for the things he said, Morgan's album sales went through the roof. His most recent release at the time, Dangerous the Double Album, would spend 11 weeks atop the album charts and became the best-selling album in the country during the first half of 2021, according to metrics from MRC Data. Understanding that this was yet another bad look for him, although one he probably had little control over, Morgan would meet with the Black Music Action Coalition and other similarly oriented charities, whom he then proceeded to donate $500,000 in an effort to offset some of the karma his actions had wrought. As for where Morgan headed to live next, well, that's a big giant question mark. Rumors suggest it might have been somewhere in East Tennessee, but are you really shocked to find out that he's keeping his new location on the down low? After being run out of town by his former neighbor, something tells me that Morgan is going to find himself a place where his late night partying won't be a bother to anyone else. Something also tells me that he's going to keep his new zip code a close guarded secret for as long as possible. For now though, that's going to bring this latest edition of House Tour to a close. Thanks for watching today's episode and before you head out, ask yourselves this one question. Would you rather live in a close knit community where every neighbor is a friend or live on a giant property with no one else around to bother you for miles? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe and turn on those notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!